what's up? Aloha from Hawaii, it's Frank's Tech Help, and today we're going to be showing you how to hook up a MacBook White through the DVI output going to VGA, which is analog, yes, into my 32 inch Vizio. So, as you can see, just to get a difference between the resolution 13.3 inches, 32 inches, okay. Now, the reason I chose the Vizio is because it has this, a VGA input, okay. I've tried the HDMI and I've noticed a lot of ghosting from my PC and a little bit from the MacBook, not as much, but because it had the VGA hookup, going into the television itself, it's going to be much better quality for this application. Um, now for the MacBook, um, Mini DVI, oh, sorry, out of focus, Mini DVI going into VGA, simply plug that into a 10 foot extension cable which is already plugged into the back of the television. Snug it down there just a little bit on both sides. Now this cable is a little bit older so it's kind of tweaked so um, it is important that you use a good cable but basically we're going to switch the television over to the PC and then plug it into the MacBook here. Give it a second to be recognized. Okay, and there we have it. Simple as that. Um, now, um, let's go to Apple Preferences, System Preferences, and into Displays. And I can see my brightness and contrast has gone down slightly, so I use the um, key there to brighten that up a little bit. Now we can see we have a resolution up here of 1600 by 1200 at 60 hertz, and then down here we have 1280 by 800. Alright, so we're looking good on the video display. Now, what I primarily do is a lot of Final Cut Express for video editing. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Yes, it is a registered copy. Thank you. Um, so, okay, so here's a project I was working on, a uh, Left 4 Dead 2 preview. Um, so I've got that project opened up in here right now. And now, this is where the benefit comes in. <clears throat> Let me try to zoom in here just a little bit. I don't know how much of this I'll be able to get in. But if you go to View Video Output, okay, and then choose Digital Cinema Desktop Preview, you will now see that the output of my Final Cut Pro, the window over here, is now in my display up here. Okay, simple as that. So I can do all of my editing in here um, in the desktop. I can also hook this into a secondary monitor and use the desktop, you know, by itself, you know, if you want. Um, you can also, um, if you go back out of this mode, all right, here, let me just play a real quick preview here. And I love this function, you know. I can I can do all of my editing down here and get as close to high definition output look to see what the graphics are like, you know. Now, let's say if you want to, let's go back to our regular view, which is Canvas Playback. Okay, so that brings our desktop back. All right, so when we come to hit play down here, it's just going to be it's going to be our regular playback through here. Now, another thing that you can do is if you want to go full screen, you can come back to Apple preference, uh, System Preferences and then go to Displays. Okay. Now, the, another nice little thing here is that um, you can mirror the display. Okay. So if you mirror, it's going to be the same on both. Okay. And up here, you're going to need um, to choose your resolution for Final Cut Express. Okay, so I've made, I had to rearrange my desktop and everything because I duplicated the, the display and the resolutions are slightly different, okay? So I had to do a little bit of uh, rearranging in the house here. All right, so now that you see, we have the duplicate desk uh, displays down here and up on our big screen as well. Also, if you have a USB keyboard plugged in or a wireless Bluetooth keyboard, simply close the top down on the Mac now your display is going to go off for a moment, but move your mouse around a little bit to let it know that you still want it to be awake. And 
give it a second. We close the MacBook down and now uh, you can see that the light's not on so it's not burning the LCD. The power light indicator down, down here is on, okay, so indicating activity. And I see my mouse on the screen. So I can have an external keyboard or Bluetooth keyboard or something like that if I wanted to use this more as a desktop unit for video editing.